Hello there, crafters. Today we are looking at the book of Job, specifically chapter 38, where Job has this conversation with God, and we really kind of get a glimpse at how awesome, mighty, and powerful our God is. So we have a couple of crafts today to celebrate the strength of God and the power of God. The first one we're going to make is a barbell. So we're going to start off with a paper towel tube. I guess if you wanted a shorter version, you could also use a to toilet paper tube, but we're going to do the full size version. And for the weighted part, I'm going to use paper plates. So we're going to start off by using the tube to trace and cut a hole in a paper plate so that it can slide through. So I want that hole to be about the same size as my tube. And one way you can go about doing this is you can poke a hole and try to cut that out exactly or you can fold it just a bit and snip a little ways. You kind of cut in triangles. Then you'll be able to pop these out so that the tube can stick through. And you will have built in areas that can be taped onto your tube. So we're going to hang on to that after we cut it because I'm going to add some decorations. And that decoration is actually going to be my caption. If you choose, you could also do, um, you could have your captions as a separate piece of paper as well, but if I've got this handy dandy paper plate right here, why would I not want to use that? So I'm going to decorate my plates first and then attach them to the toilet paper or paper towel rather tube. So over here, I'm going to mark down some verses and those verses will remind me that God is strong and mighty. And let's say he is in control and throw in a reference to our study show 38 so we can have the same on both sides or I can have something a little different over here and let's say trust in God He gives me strength. You get the idea. Now I'm going to throw on some extra decorations here. I'm going to add some stickers. Do, 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 do. If you want to color these or, you know, however, however you'd like to jazz them up and make them really awesome. Of course, we're going to do the speedy version, which is not overly creative because we just don't have time for that right now. But you get the idea. So after I have written on, decorated, etc., my plates, now it's time to put it together. So for fun, I'm going to add aluminum foil around my tube here to kind of create that illusion that it's a barbell, you know, make it look kind of metal-ish. Then I'm 
going to attach my plates. So I might need to cut this up just a hair wider on this one. Do -do -do. Make room for that tube to fit in. There we go. And now flip that through. And I'm slide it down. There we go. Voila. And for reinforcement, I'm going to put just a couple pieces of tape around that to make sure it is stuck in a good spot. Then I will do the same, almost the same, but the opposite side. I'm not going to slide it all the way through since I now have a plate on one end. So I'll just have to be a little more careful with this one and get it right around here. Do, 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 do. go. I'm just trying to kind of have those prongs facing in so it's not totally visible. Not the end of the world if we see a couple of them, but put that guy in there and take that on. Then it'll be all ready to go. Almost, kind of, somewhat. Ta-da! All right, there we are that on and we will have craft number one. So there we are, our wonderful barbell. I mean that's almost like an axle and wheels here really. You could have a lot of fun with that. But number two we're going to make a poster of sorts and I would recommend maybe using some sort of darker paper for this one. I'm going to use, well, this is clearly not dark paper, but um, the idea is we're going to create a little storm. If you have a larger paper, a larger paper might be extra awesome with this, but we are going to start with this guy. And this is going to be celebrating, remembering that God is in charge of everything, even the lightning and the storms. And so I'm going to start off with the caption and we'll say the ruler of weather and sky, because I'm going to have both elements here. And then we'll say God is powerful and in control. And now we're going to add the fun part. So up here I've got some clouds and we're going to kind of make a collage. You can have this be more organized if you prefer. I'm sort of doing a scattering of things. So we're going to start with my clouds here. There we are. And then coming down from the clouds, I'm going to create some zigzaggy lightning here. And then we're going to do, I'm going to tape on my zigzaggy lightning. And oh, let's not forget our reference. There we go. And now, if you're feeling extra adventurous, we can throw on some glitter, kind of to add to that lightning and stars effect. And then I've got some star stickers. And so like I said, this is sort of a hodgepodge of several elements. You can make it more organized, specific to one thing or another, as you prefer. But these are just some ideas to get you rocking and rolling. And Remember how mighty and powerful and awesome God is, which really is the thing that's incredible we see through this passage is just, wow, God is big and we're little and he's pretty powerful and strong.
So we have our lovely weather collage poster and our awesome, mighty, strong, powerful God barbell. A couple of crafts to hopefully help remember and solidify these powerful and important truths found in Job 38. As always, feel free to take them, make them your own, do what you will, have some fun, go make some crafts, make some disciples, have a wonderful week. We'll see you next time.